and welcome back to another Vox Edit Thursday live tutorial stream with me, Panda Pops. Hello, everyone. It's I feel like it's been a while since I've done one of these, but I don't think it actually has. But how are we all, Farhad? I see you there. I always stream on YouTube. I always I always restream. I'm always doing like YouTube, Twitch, and D Live. I have been considering maybe potentially my normal live streams for my Tuesday evenings and Thursday evenings, my time ones, so the one I'll do later today, uh, to be just Twitch only, just because of the analytics, but these tutorial streams seem to do pretty well on both YouTube and Twitch, so yeah, I, I will still continue to do these ones everywhere. Uh, Tom Voxel, Jojo, Crypto, Bra Bragamov, Ragamove, I'm so sorry if I said your name wrong. Hello. Archie Flu, Lee, Lee Newman. Hello. So, I actually had zero plan for you guys today, which is hilarious because I intend to do two hours or at least an hour and a half for this morning because I have a wedding to go to tomorrow. So, I'm going to do my Thursday evening stream earlier than normal as well as maybe making it a little bit shorter which is why i'm going to make this one a bit longer um you were thinking to stream just on twitch i was worried no, no no so the just on twitch would be just for like the tuesday evenings thursday evenings my time the tutorial ones will always be youtube as well and i haven't fully decided it's just the analytics are looking better for for twitch basically for my long live streams so the ones that i do tuesday and thursday evenings it is around about 88 percent viewership on twitch and then the rest of it spread between not much between d live anymore but i said it right perfect i always i always worry i always worry streams would really <laughs> streams would really stress you out ah uh huh Oh, twi oh, Twitch only streams would really stress you out? Oh, <laughs> well, maybe maybe I could just do like shorter. U so the problem is YouTube does not like long live streams. It's not like the, uh, the, the algorithm isn't made for long live streams. And I have more people over on Twitch that watch those ones. But I mean, I have no plans to change it yet. Uh, what do you think about hosting the Eurovision watch party? When is that? When is Eurovision? I'm terrible. I have not watched Eurovision for like three years, three or four years. Because I don't have, in fact, no longer. I don't have normal TV. In fact, yeah, I can't because I don't have a TV license. Uh, oh. May, later, later on. Not, not this week. Good morning, early for both of us. <laughs> hey, triple buffer. Yeah, no, my I, I haven't done one of these tutorial streams for a while. So I think I'm going to just pretty much break down a lot of the basics. Like, I am legit going to go over to the Vox Edit Git book that I've created. I'm going to link that Vox Edit Git book for you guys. And I'm legit just going to talk through most of that. And if you have questions or you need me to show you something, that's what we'll do for this one. And we'll just make it a little bit more informal. A lot of these tutorial streams will make it quite like formal. Like this is this is what we're learning today. So we're going to be a little bit more informal with this. So let me just grab up this Vox Edit Git book for you guys. And I'm going to link it. Right, UK goes directly to finals, so there's no, <laughs> no, no drama around it. That's true. <clears throat> and I am streaming this like slightly earlier than usual. I'm in Vox Edit 2 working on a limousine. Awesome! That sounds great. So this is the Vox Edit Git book and I am going to just bring it up real quick. So, no! I've given you the wrong thing! Ignore that! How do I do- I can't delete it. Can I- can I del- I can't delete it. Okay, ignore that. That is not the right thing. Vox there we go. Oh my goodness. Right. Copy. Ignore that. Yes, the creator fund is actually closed. 
Like, in terms of, like, we still have people on the creative fund. I'm still an artist within the creative fund. But the applications to join are closed. I, I'm not too sure why people think that it was going to be, like, reopening. Because it was very... Like, the wording was like, yes, it is It is closed. And I've not shied away from telling people that they that it is closed. Like, the Creator Fund is not accepting any more applications. Now, what I have heard, and this is just what I've heard from people, and not that I know to be 100% accurate, just as just through the grapevine that people could still be bought onto the creator fund but it's not through an application process it is purely from a hey your artwork has been noticed through you doing like discord posts social media posts things like that where you're you're showing off your artwork maybe entering contests and things and you will be picked up by somebody like within the head of the creator fund to potentially be bought on but the actual application process has been closed since we did like the whole announcement that we are closing closing the creator fund and moving towards user generated content <laughs> oh lee newman that's really nice <coughs> <coughs> That's really, really nice. But at, at least, at least as of for now, I don't plan on going over to Twitch just fully. I might also test out, because most of the links I post, I do just post my Twitch link when I, when I stream. So maybe I'll start, like, just see if it changes if I post my YouTube. And then I'll just alternate between, hey, I'm posting up this link for you to click on my Twitch or this one for my YouTube and we'll see if that changes anything. Uh saw a tweet of a guy claiming he recently got accepted in through the application. It wouldn't have been through the application. It would not. He depending on who it is, it may be somebody that I someone did say, hey, because you're meant to hear back even if you applied back in December before the forms closed. You were at, at the very least meant to hear back whether it was rejected or not. However, they do still have all those applications. And I do believe that they do still check people's social medias to be like, hey, your work's improved and then reach out to them. But it's not through the application. It could mean the, the Game Maker Fund. But if it's for the Creator Fund, it's definitely not through the application process because it's closed. Like you legit cannot apply through the application process. It's not like we're just opening it up for like 10 seconds if you get in. No, it's, they, it is closed. I can 100% assure you that the, the applications are closed and have been closed. So welcome to Vox Edit Academy. Cool, cool, cool stuff. Uh, we don't need to know what Vox Edit is. But if you don't know what it is, then scroll through this and I have linked it. Uh, how to install Vox Edit. Uh, yep, there's that. Right, basic controls. Sizing guide. I feel like everybody would like to know about sizing guides. So the medium humans and avatars. Just remember, guys, medium human is not an avatar. Repeat after me, class. Medium human is not an avatar. A medium human is not an an avatar. Well done. Um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> so they are two meters tall, also 64 voxels within Sandbox. One meter is 32 voxels. It's not an avatar. Well done, little legion. Well done. Number one, gold star for you. Gold star for you. Yes, I did. I did see. I, I retweeted it. I saw the panda. Oh, wait. The, the one with Alex, me, and Joseph. I saw that. Oh, look at you guys all saying medium human is... <laughs> well done, Trouble, as well. Uh, but yeah, so... Medium humans and avatars, roughly two meters tall. So their hip height, round about here, is just like... Up here is 32 voxels. 
So if you're making like maybe a table, you want it around about the 30 voxels. How how am I feeling? I still got a cough. I'm I'm keeping it under wraps. I've got some uh lemon and fennel again. But yeah, right. So and also right here, keep in mind when creating assets, uh, and it's suggested to limit an asset to 512 voxels for optimization reasons. So we have to put it suggested just because we do know people may go over that. But in terms of for contests and especially on the creative end and all of that, we don't go above that. So we don't end up breaking the game maker and our assets in the process. So everything is... Um, uh, I'm, I'm reading and I'm not reading. <laughs> so the scales here are what will work best. So scales for columns, for example, we always work in meters. So blocks can go next to them as shown. Actually, I did real bad there. Should have done a picture with a different background. But there's a brick uh, terrain block that's sitting nicely on top of this five meter high column. What does that mean? What, do, what does what mean free DMP? Can't use it. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, for the for the avatars. I was like, I've been talking a lot. I have lost. Okay, so currently the the avatar templates are disabled. There is no date on when they will be coming back. You can obviously purchase an avatar in terms of a Snoop Doggy or a World of Woman thing to get get one of those or you can go over to the sandbox.game and create your own avatar that can be used in other people's games and social hubs if you want to create your own personal game and have the 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 main cat the avatar that is played within that game be a certain avatar you can actually make it anything and i can show you guys how to do that for sure right in fact i'll show you right now because that's super super quick so I can show you exactly how you can force an avatar, um, an avatar for your game, but this will be only for your game. Literally, if somebody plays your game, that is the only time they can use that character as an avatar because it's being forced as an avatar. What's the word on the alpha season four? We're just skipping past three now. We we don't we don't care about three anymore. It's like no, we want four. Like, as if, like, if I knew, then do you think I'd be allowed to tell you? No. Sorry, guys. Right. So, let's say we want to play a Scruffy. Okay, we got a little Scruffy here. What we do to force an avatar, we go to Global Parameters, and we go Select Your Avatar, Custom Avatar, so I have to click off of it and go back on. There we go. Oh, wait, it's right there. Oh, my gosh. Custom avatar. And then down here, avatar model. So then you would click that and you would find your avatar model. And then you'll be able to play as that. So we can play this game as Griffey doing the P attack. All right, let's just take you down for a second so I can show people the P attack better. Beepy. Okay. Cool. Her avatars are disabled. I missed that bit of the sentence. Okay, so... One, that's how you can do a custom avatar. If you use the NPC, the medium human, and create something that you want to use as your avatar in your personal game, you can't use it in anyone else's game, you can't use it in social hubs, but you can use it in your own personal game, then that's how you do it. Now I'm just going to leave this, because we don't need to go back in there. How do you get past the 5k face limit if you need to create a mega structure or building? I mean, you shouldn't really be going past it, especially for a building. A building should not need, there's many things that you can do to not go past 5k faces. And it's for optimization reasons. The reason we have that there, the 5k faces, is for optimization. But uh, over here on templates, 
we have the medium human. It even says right here, NPC humanoid, uh, human or humanoids, not an avatar. So it even says that's not, not an avatar. In the past, and if you look at a lot of my old tutorial videos, you'll see that I actually had in the templates, there was actually an avatar template. It's separate. It wasn't a medium human. It was separate. That has been disabled. So it is not possible for anyone, that includes myself, to create avatars at this current time. So that's that's what I mean by it's been disabled. So you cannot create your own avatars. And I do feel like this needs like a little bit of clarifica uh, clarification, mainly because people have been getting confused by it. So when you use a medium human, you can obviously export it and click, give it a behavior of avatar. And this is what irritates me a little bit. If I go up here, I'm hoping this one has it. This one right here has the behavior of an avatar. This is not an avatar. If you purchase this, you will not be able to play as this character in a social hub or any other game. It is not an avatar. Having that behavior does not make it an avatar. So let's just change. No, it's been that way for a long time, like quite a while. At some point, the avatar, you will be able to create your own avatars, but right now, It's complete, but you have, but already has 2,000 faces. There you go, you're under. I would also, I did show off as well over on, uh, on one of my previous streams. I did show off somebody who was in fact around about the 3,000 mark on the Easter contest. I believe they came in like sixth or something. Seventh, they came in seventh. This is a really good, good way of making a hot air balloon. They did it for an Easter contest, but this is legit a very, very good hot air balloon, minimizing faces. It doesn't, you don't need to be making super ultra realistic hot air balloons within the voting. There's numerous factors we take into consideration. Creativity, uh, the, um, the level of detail, the level of animation, uh, usability within Sandbox itself. So if you've made something that's like 4,800, uh, you know, voxels that's super, super crazy and has like low animation, that's not really going to be overly usable within Sandbox. I'm going to move that back over there. 900 faces for your limo, that is great. But yes, this is not an avatar. And another thing that I should state as well, which will end up as soon as avatars come back in, I will update the git book for this. But much like the equipment, anybody here who's been with me during me talking about the equip equipment types, so headpiece, chest piece, arms, legs, blades, and shields, they are all a classed as equipment. Okay? They can be equipped to your avatars. But why do we not unlock these? Why do we not go through the process of unlocking these? Anybody know? Have low chance to win? No, high face count does not have low chances to win. In fact, um, da, da, da. second place had a high face count, still under the 5k, was still under 5k, was still high face count. And the same for fourth place was actually 4,900 face count. And yeah, it's a it's very, very large asset. But yeah, still came in fourth place. So it's not, it's not it has low chances to win. For sure. Will the experience be rejected? So the the main issue with, so it's for optimization reasons. So let's say you make something with 5K faces or more than 5K faces. Okay, let's say you go as far as doing like a 20K, in fact, you can't do 20K, it won't let you even put that in, in uh, Game Maker. Let's say you do 10K. So you make an asset with 10K faces. Okay, it's going to make it harder 
for your game to run for other people. Now, it doesn't mean that it, your game experience will be rejected. It just means that your game isn't going to be as playable as other people. Unless, like, the only thing you have on that land is, like, that one piece and maybe a couple of few smaller faced items, you go like, it's going to struggle. So this is uh free free D MP4. This is what I'm uh, I'm gonna go over right now. Uh, no, Bravo. No, no. Where did that even come from? Uh, and also, I don't feel comfortable about t talking about other work colleagues in that in that manner as well. But no, <laughs> just just no. <laughs> <coughs> <clears throat> I mean, if you know Joseph at all, you know that he does a lot with crypto and yeah, no. Just no. Um right, so why the reason I'm I'm going to concentrate on this and then I'm gonna answer your question. So the reason we don't unlock these top ones right here, they're classed as equipment, is because when you unlock them, it turns them into an entity. From what I have been told, this will be the same for avatars. The avatars will be their own thing, much like the equipment has its own little little sword. When it's up on the marketplace, you'll see a little sword. For everything else, it's an entity. It has a little cube next to it. Okay. I don't know why I'm doing this, as if you can, like, I'm making a cube, I guess. Um, the same will go for avatars. Avatars will be their own thing. Now, yes, you could potentially import all those pieces over to the avatar. So when we open up, you know, let's open this one up. So when we open this up, if I go to like import and I find other body pieces, I need to find a, a body. Uh, that doesn't sound weird at all. So yeah, if I, no, nope, not my goblins, humans. So if I go here and I just, you know, move over chest A, you will need to rename if you're recoloring and stuff, I would su fully suggest you rename so you don't break it because Vox said it doesn't like things named the same in the same library, which kind of makes sense. So make sure you're renaming them and you can import that and then just move it straight over. But you will not be able to, for it to stay being an avatar, you will not be able to add additional nodes. You will not be able to change the animation or the you won't be able to change the animation basically so you can't do anything that would result in the unlocking okay so when we unlock we can add nodes we can play about with the animation add additional animation change animation do what we want with anim animation so if you are wanting to create a medium human you will only be able to import all of that over if it's done from an unlocked one. A locked one, sorry. Not unlocked, a locked one. Hey, I have Scotch. Thank you for the one USD. Appreciate that. That's so sweet. How have you been? I asked by someone to help make an item in Vox Edit. Oh, have I been asked? Yes, I have done freelance work outside of my range of within Sandbox. So yes, I have done freelance work. Uh, I, if you're wanting suggestions about it, always ask for half upfront that is non-refundable is what I did because if you're like, this is the start time. And then what I do as well is I say, and uh, don't include, I got, I asked to be paid in um, if. So I said, there will be no, like, I don't take care of the gas fee. Like, this is my rate, you take care of the gas fee. And that's on you. But half up front first. And then as I send updates on progress images and videos and send a final video of the asset working fully within Game Maker itself to make so they know, hey, this does work. This is what it looks like. When I do that, I say, I say uh, you then say, hey, you need to pay me the rest of it. I personally, because I didn't give them a, a date to get the rest of it sent, so I had one fairly baddish client 
So I had said, hey, you need to pay me the rest. Once that's paid, I will send you the files. So you send all the files and then they own that asset. So you send the files over. Um, I had said, hey, and they're like, oh, Eve's going up. Re no, it's gone down really low or something. Yeah, it dipped a lot. And they were like, hey, can you wait a few days? I wasn't expecting. I was like, yes, I can wait a few days. It then got to be about two weeks later and I was like, you still haven't paid me. Uh, so I messaged saying, hey, are you going? And they're like, yeah, yeah, I'll pay you in like a few days. It's like, fine. And I decided to send them a, a new invoice uh, that same day to both their, the direct messages I'd been doing with them as well as to their email that they had provided. And I sent that. They then got back to me very quick saying, yes, I'll pay you within this many days like great it then became a week later than the dates that they said they pay i waited one more day and i said hey per our agreement that if you do not give me the final amount for the payment for the work i've done then you void being able to claim this work i get to keep it as well as the half paid up front and it becomes my intellectual property um they then proceeded to argue with me over crypto and being like, you need to be aware what happens in crypto. I've been in this business for however long. I was like, yeah, but I did a service and it has now been over a month since the completion date. Uh, they then soon paid. Mars, there's a rumor going on. Yeah, I'd ignore rumors. They're rumors for a reason. Hey, keep a top shot. So yeah, uh, could you move? Uh, I've extra parts in the sword. In the sword template. I'm so confused. Move more parts to the wait, and uh, and could I move parts to the avatar template? Yes, you should be able to when that when that comes back. You should be able to move just the base parts. You'll only be able to replace these, not the hair, because this is unlocked. Um, but you'll be able to replace like the head, the chest, the belly, the hips with your parts. You wouldn't, however, like this, I wouldn't be able to make this an avatar that everybody could use. Like, because this has been unlocked. So it's the same for, for the equipment. When you unlock it, you turn it into an entity. You can't. Uh, oh, you've extra parts on the sword template. Yes, the extra parts on the sword template is because you can do those animations. The medium humans and everything, you can't do those. Now, whether or not that they allow that for you to add additional nodes to add to your avatars, I don't know. That's not my department to work on that. I could ask, but from what I have been told, basically the avatars are very very similar to the medium humans and you will not you should not unlock them because unlocking them will basically turn it into an npc and not an avatar when they come back so yeah <clears throat> i think we've we've touched a lot on that so yeah this is not an avatar this is still not an avatar. It may be usable as one. I actually feel like they've they've not added additional parts. So this could actually be transferred to be an avatar. But as it stands, she is a, she is just an entity. She's an NPC. She is not an avatar. Uh, trying to find some that I know. Okay, please this okay 100 percent. actually she looks like she... nope that round thing is definitely separate okay so this would have had additional nodes added to make this crown not an avatar this is would this would not be an avatar absolutely beautiful but not an avatar would not be able to be used or transferred over as an avatar as it stands currently from what i have been told I'm going to say this is subject to change, but from what I have currently been told, not an avatar. 
uh, MV avatar like in some templates because there are a lot of cool stuff you can do. That is true, but also that's not, once again, not my department. And the main reason to have set avatars that everybody can wear in social hubs and things like that is so things like the equipment actually fits the standard avatar. So that's that's why, because the equipment is created to go around standard avatars. This isn't a standard avatar. So as it stands right now, if I tried to put a helmet on this as an avatar, like all of this would be sticking out of the helmet. Like you wouldn't be able to put like chest pieces on her properly or leg pieces on her properly. So that's why, that's why like avatars should just be very standard unless you're making a game that you want a certain person to play as, which is absolutely fine. You can do that. Like I showed you, you can add custom avatars to your personal games, but for other people's games and social hubs and stuff, like, yeah, I get like you wanting to walk around like this. That's cool, but no. Uh, yeah, no, so that was, yeah. Uh, Galadriel, that was like one person and it was, I very much stood my ground and I am like, I wasn't going to budge. To be honest, I did really like, like, well, one, I always like the assets that I create. So it wouldn't have been that much like of a big deal if they didn't fully pay me for the rest of the work. Like I, I wanted to be paid, obviously, but it would have been like, okay, well, at least I still have these assets instead of, oh, I've already given them these assets, uh, now what? Um, so yeah, unfortunately it was a pretty, yeah, it was pretty meh. And, and Eve, but working as a graphic designer in an agency based in Turkey, they're making me wait like more than, oh, that's bad from my side, but on the metaverse you can create anything from scratch and they can hire you. Oh, oh gosh. Waiting more than two months to get paid is horrible. That's, I would not be happy with that. Uh, instead of creating uh, your, your own account manager. Yeah. Trouble, what you, oh, you're still waiting to be paid? Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Right, back to tutorials. So. Sizing guides, usually making columns within the meter sizes. So 32 voxels is one meter. So making the columns minimum you're going to want is around about four meters high. Uh, maybe you could go for three. Three is like the door, the template door height. So you could go for maybe three meters high, but definitely make them in the meters so you can have either terrain blocks next to them or you can't see it. I'm so mad, but I didn't do a different block to go about like as a background block. That is so silly of me, but I might change that picture. Whoa, what the frig? No, Lee Newman. No, if you're waiting to be paid, why are you paying me? Oh, that is insane. Dude. Lee Newman. Everybody is just the greatest. That is $49.99 donated by Lee Newman to me. Wow. Like, dude, what the frig? Thank you so much. Uh, so, but in the avatar template, you could, uh, but there is no avatar template. I mean, yeah, I, if you mean like, okay, you can make the head bigger, yes, but there is a reason we say like, hey, just sort of color change it and that the equipment is to fit standard avatar sizes. They fit standard avatar sizes. The animation or the design in contest? A little bit of both. I think that overall, I would say design. I love school. Thank you. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you so much for that 10 USD. Oh my goodness. There is so much love today. Oh. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, both you and those fireworks are awesome, so I figured why not. 
<coughs> Thank you. Oh, I love scotch. And with the little Shiva in the in the little little outfit waving. So happy. If you add a small touch of animation, can you get uh can get you somewhere? Yeah, so I overall, let's say let's say you're not good at animation but you're very, very good at design. I would say, yes, the design part is probably more important, but once you get to a point where, hey, yeah, I'm designing pretty well, then start thinking, okay, how can I now improve my animation? Because they're both important. I would say probably, yes, the design and detailing is a little more, depending on what you're making. I feel like it's very depending on what you're making. Like a column, a column like this, you don't really need to need to be able to do animation on this. But if you're making a human and all you've got is a really, really good looking human character and they literally walk like janky and weird, then it's not going to be good. No matter how great it looks, you're just not going to want to use it. First one, never actually seen the availability to do such a thing before. I love learning new things. There we go. Uh, yeah, on early or normal, I don't know. So, Josh Spaniard, usually on Thursdays morning my time, uh... Usually I would have started like 15 minutes ago, but I did, I did actually start early. I do tutorial ones, uh, Thursday mornings and then Tuesdays and Thursday evenings. I do evening streams like normal ones. Uh, so yeah, do it heights like this. So 32 voxel height. So just do 32 times. If you want five meters, 32 times five, <coughs> you want four meters, 32 times four. Then the same goes for windows as well, is that you want to be leaving like gaps of 32 for terrain blocks as well. So you want to be making them in a way that would potentially fit around maybe a terrain building like this. And generally for buildings. So the actually, uh, the maximum you should be doing anything within Vox Edit, and this is part of our contest guidelines as well, is a maximum size of 512 voxels. Uh, the idea is to make the up house of the movie upside down as the balloon. Oh, and the basket will be a lot of colourful small balloons. Oh, I like that. I hope you know that sounds like that's a lot of faces though. I'm not gonna lie, but I do like that idea. That's, that's intriguing. I, I like it. But you may, even though, okay, even though it's, you see, so you wanna make the house from urban, like you're doing a spin because you're turning it upside down and you're doing balloons. I would still say it's subject to copyright and even copyright stuff we can't accept for contests because you'll be if you win you'll be monetizing off of something that is copyrighted so i would say make it enough that it doesn't actually look like the house from up like like make it look enough that i don't i can't tell just i don't know make make a bar tavern oh <laughs> just thing is well it's it's not really because like you could get sued like you could get sued we're stopping you from getting sued we won't like sandbox will not accept anything that is copyrighted and especially considering let's say you know somebody makes sonic and then sega are like hey we want to be partners with you but you've already got like a sonic character what's this about and then we're like, oh, yes, yeah, like random Joe Bloggs down, you know, halfway around the world has made that. Like They're like, well, that's infringing on our IP. So they'll... It's just a house. Houses. No, but the if it's significant enough as the house from Up and the balloons, that is still copyright. But in fact, I'm going to look it up. Uh, is that... I 
I'm looking it up for you. Might be all right. Uh, no. You would need to get permission to do a replica of a flying house. But I would say as long as the house doesn't look like the house from Up. So like, don't, don't make that house. Just don't make it look like that house and you should be fine. Just change it, make a standard house. Uh, I feel I'm stuck in South Park episode where Simpsons already did everything. Right, anyway, back to the houses. So, for buildings, once again, work in sizes of 32. So these are meters being done here. Minimum height for a one-story house really should be four meters. A doorway for a door template is three meters high. So you'll want usually about four meters, especially, and this is the way I do it. So you can always put terrain blocks next to it if you're making a building. So there we go. Right, let's actually do some Vox edit -y stuff. So terrain blocks. Terrain blocks are always going to be 32 by 32. We just click this and we can do stuff. So we've only got these tools. We can't like add anything or do anything weird. I can add that and then here we can actually move it and place it wherever we want. I don't want it to look like that. So you can just paint it and make whatever you like. You can also go and that's not the right one. Where's the view? Where is it? No. Oh, okay. so this is showing you what it would look like if they are. Is that showing me what it would look like if they're stacked? Yes. If they're stacked next to each other, this is what it's showing you it would look like. So this is 132 base. We just go to perspective. When you go to these, it will show you what it will look like when they're all lined up. So it doesn't look very good. We've got like missing pieces up here. So we don't want that. I think I was using this as just a reference thing for something. So I can't remember what this was being used for. Like, I can't make SSJ style hair because, yeah. What's SSJ style hair? Oh, you mean Dragon Ball? Why didn't you just say Dragon Ball? Okay, now. Uh, you could make anime styled hair, but you wouldn't. So you wouldn't be able to, like, make that hair and then do the character that looks like that. You could do because, like, having hair that goes like that is represented in quite a few of. Yeah, no, no, no. I got it. I got it. I was just like. I got that. Literally, it came right up and I was like, oh, Dragon Ball. Yes. No, but you couldn't make like Goku. It's, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty, it is pretty anime. So you would just need to make sure it doesn't actually look like a, a character. So there we go. So that is what all of that would look like stacked next to each other. So if I just do that, that's our main square. So this is following on. Um, it doesn't look too bad at all stacked like that that's another one above it to the side below it 
You can see what it looks like. I think that looks pretty good. All right, so animator, this is where I suggest everybody goes. Like, literally everybody should be working in here. Literally everyone should be working in animator. Even if they're, they're not too sure what they want to make and they just want to make something super, super simple, work in animator. Always work in animator. There's, I hardly ever work in Modeler anymore. Modeler is for like single things, like a book. Maybe you just want a book. Uh, anything that can be square. Anything that doesn't really need to be broken down for collision reasons. About animator bugs. No, don't ask me about bugs. Go, go for it. Ask me about your bugs. Ask me about your animator bugs. Been hitting a bug where the asset vanishes. Wait, what? Like your asset like legit just vanishes? Dude, what did you do to... Wait, Slivakai, what the frig did you do? Oh, and his hand friends. Oh, I love it. But also, it's really creepy. How have you done that to Joseph? That is so, I'm, I'm like, I'm a little, like, freaked out because, whoa. Oh, hashtag hand friend. And then, it, oh, do I want to save an exit? Okay, okay, no, no, no. I know exactly what's happened. So, it's broken. That, you're not going to be able to retrieve that. What has happened, uh, Josh, is... So this is a bug that I believe this is why it happens, that you deleted something within... You deleted something in the library, and then you tried to place, like... Let's say I deleted Belly, and then I quickly, very quickly, clicked to, you know, copy something and call it Belly again. And it hasn't had time to catch up, and so it thinks that there is now two bellies when there shouldn't be two bellies and it breaks your rig. Now, the good, good news, you can kind of save it. If you've done animation to it, I have bad news. You're not going to be able to save the animation. But anything that you had in the library, if it was stuff that you created from scratch, you can save. All you would do is start a new project and you import. So you'd go import and you'd go find that old file that is now unfortunately it's uh it's corrupted like it's rig corrupted so you would import all those over there so i'm sorry but yeah that's what you're gonna have to do um and i believe it's because of like you've deleted something and renamed something the same in a very short amount of time ask you about books what's what's my favorite book oh oh what's what is my favorite book my current favorite book or just a book that I've really, really enjoyed reading over and over and over again. Kathy Wong, thank you for being here and sorry that I haven't actually done that much in terms of tutorial. I had to find a backup in the end. Yeah. Uh, they still show in the hierarchy, but not the, on the asset side. Yeah, I think, I think it's rig broken. Yeah, I'll give feedback, but let me, let me teach you guys something real quick. But uh, for this is a tutorial. Uh, right. Base, okay, wait, 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 no, go off of those tutorials, that old. Right. Head pieces, chest piece, arms, legs, blade, shields. These are all equipment, and to keep them classed as equipment, we do not do the act of unlocking. However, anything below here, so from small human downwards, we can unlock these ones. This is, as of today's date, if there has been more things added in the future, like the avatars, depending on where they're positioned in here, then it may be different. But for the for uh, right now, all of these are equipment. Everything else is classed as an entity. 
So we can go through unlocking these and I will show you how we do that. So I'm just going to go to humans. I'm going to go small right here. Save. I'm going to quickly show you how to unlock for this tutorial for anybody live that's here. So this, you know, we can't do, we can't add over here. We can only unlink. We can't, we can see all the animation, but we can't edit it. So to unlock it, we just saved him. We're going to go out. We're going to go to create new. I'm going to name this like small unlock save. I'm going to go to root right here. We're going to go import hierarchy. I'm going to find him. So there he is right there. And now we have him unlocked. So we've got all of the animation shown. We've got the timeline showing. We can now add to this. Okay, so that is how we do the unlocking. Right, back to this. Yeah, let me have a look, 3D, for sure. <coughs> I'm stuck on this, like, literally now. Wait, on the unlocking? Yeah, okay, we'll do, we'll do feedback. Sure, we'll, we'll turn this into a, a tutorial on how, where are you sending it to me? My Discord should be open, so you should be able to just TM me there. Tell me where you're sending me stuff. Please don't just send links. I really need to disable links. 3D uh, MP4, just message me. Like, literally message me. Yeah, unlocking. There you go. That's how you unlock. I do also have a video on unlocking as well, which I'll just, you know, link to shill myself while I'm doing stuff. Hmm. In Discord. Yeah, you can send it to me in Discord. You can send it on me in Discord on Twitter. You can DM me on Twitter. I don't mind. Not Twitch. Don't do it on Twitch. I mean, if you have, then I can hop over, but I don't have that tab open. That was easy. That was easy. But that's also why I say I had people go like, when I was talking about not unlocking equipment, people were like, how, like... How do I make sure I don't accidentally unlock equipment? Like, uh, it's like there are numerous steps involved in unlocking templates. It would be very hard to accidentally unlock something. So there's, it is simple, but there are obviously numerous steps. You can't accidentally unlock something. But do not, do not unlock these. Then they are not equipment. They cannot be equipped to your avatars and games and stuff. They just won't work. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Send it on Twitter. Cool. All right, there we go. There we go. You. Oh, your Easter? I really like that one. Oh, for some reason that when you said that, I thought you meant your balloon thing. No, I really liked this. I believe that you may have even shown how many faces it was. It was a fair, fair high amount of faces. I do remember seeing this. I don't know where it placed, unfortunately. So I've got to close that. Don't know where it placed, unfortunately. I think there was definitely ways that you could potentially reduce the faces on here, for sure. But I thought it was really, really unique. I love how this is filling up with the milk and stuff. Uh, yeah, I didn't have too much to say. I would say potentially a few things i'm just gonna pause it a few things would be that um like these bits you could have maybe have just done a straight up fence around i know you wanted to see those actually no they're good never mind ignore that uh i'm trying to see what's yeah, okay, so you could reduce faces by just not having these flowers and stuff on here. You could just paint those on to help reduce faces because that's extra faces that you don't really need. Well, no, so we don't deduct, like, if you're under 5k, this is why. This is exactly why, because it is very hard to look at this and be like, oh, where like how many faces is this unless you're like you're giving it 
like you're showing faces so this is why in all the forms from now on you are going to be required to send in an image on showing vox edit in vox edit the amount of faces and your asset next to it so i can be sure that it is for that asset but you don't if you go to voting and they're not going no mark down for faces you might be marked down a little bit for um for usability but this is quite a large asset that there would only really be one of these placed in the world so it could be used and utilized but there are definitely places that you could reduce faces for sure I would say this mixer, you could reduce faces with how you've made this mixer, doing different colors and things. A lot of these flowers you could just have painted on the floor and it wouldn't make that much of a difference. I did before I added uh, animation, my avatar was able to jump on it. Really? Oh, I think they've done an update. If they if they've implemented the update, that's good and I need to update some of that stuff. So I need to test this. We're gonna test this. How long have I been live? Do I have enough time to test this? Why am I recording this? Oh, only an hour. Great. I have enough time to test this. Uh anybody else? Wasn't someone else gonna send me a thingy? Yeah, Josh. Did you, did you want to send me your thing to test? But also, I'm going to make something super, super quick. So create new asset. Uh, box edit, delete. That's not how you spell balloon, but sure. Control node. Uh, create child node. Baskets. I want... And then the basket. Okay. New balloon. I'm doing this real quick, by the way, guys. So gonna have a height of. Ooh, let's do a height of. Six. Okay. Load palettes. Downloads. Go. And we're going to just do actually put that fill it all in. There we go. Right, cool. go okay lovely and then next i don't know why i'm spending so much time on this really should spend less time Ooh. okay that will do and we'll just do like a nice little little face I don't know there we go right cool right enter thank you uh balloon creepy balloon love a good old creepy balloon go up go up go up lovely speed run <laughs> 
Speed speed run a very very bad balloon. New basket. So want the basket heights. The uh, height should be about forty. No height should be thirty five. Uh, make it forty and forty wide. It's perfect. Load load load. Uh, fill. Lovely. All the way down, all the way down, all the way down, lovely. And then what I want is this side to just be a little bit lower. This is probably too tall anyway, but we're just going to do this side slightly lower. Some of this going on here. Uh, you know, it looked like we're we're actually making something. Ooh. Yeah, okay, great. We've got our basket. Lovely. Uh, set to centre. Done. Get our basket. Right, our basket's too high. Now, now, sat on the floor. Cool. Right, but we need the basket broken up. So, basket side one. Basket back. Basket side two, and then I'm gonna have basket door. Yes, uh, might be the main basket, but we'll see. Uh, create child back, create child side, create child side one, uh, create side door. Right, so we've got back, goes to back, uh, door goes to door, side goes to side. Side goes to side. Cool. All right, let's start deleting. Trim. Done. Uh, back. Oh, I'm also teaching you guys how to break down things for collision as well. There you go. You're learning so much right now. Trim. Done. Uh, side two. Trim done. Uh, same thing. I did so avatar can jump in. Cool. Right. So this is it. Right now, my main basket. Ooh, let's just do delete all of the back. Delete, delete all of the side. Thank you of this side and just this this is going to be the door so that's just the base it looks quite high for the base i'm going to make it okay lovely right so trim sorted i think looks great and we need the door so we're gonna go Boom, literally all, whoops, what are you doing? Yeah, literally all of that, lovely. Need to take this side bit off and this side bit off. Now we've got the door, trim it, lovely. Right, door, animation. So we've got idle, rename idle01. I go here. I am fully aware. I'm not doing string or anything like that. Did you trim the other ones? I didn't notice you were too fast. Yeah, I trimmed everything. Everything's trimmed. I trimmed them all. They all need to be trimmed. 
That's the strip. <laughs> yeah, no, I did. I did it. Uh, the new form is way better. It is. It it's better for me having to like just judge from looking of who's breaking rules or not. Asking to go out and do social stuff like regular folk. People are asking you to go out and do social stuff. If you need to go do social stuff, you go do your social stuff. Right, so we've got idle 01, and then we're going to do new. We're going to do open 01. So all I'm going to do is have this. Whoa, the pivot's in the wrong place. The the door pivot needs to, <laughs> to be moved. So most of you know that when I do these, I say don't move the pivots when you're having to trim. You definitely need to move the pivot for this. Okay. You definitely need it moving. But that does mean I need to reposition it for everything. Okay, that should be about right. I just need to reposition this. Whoops. Go back. I just want the door. Thank you. Okay, that's fine. And then we're going to send to all, go back over to idle and copy paste so we don't have to worry about that. Right, for the door, that's also, it's also a bit low. Whoops. Go, go up one. Thank you. Send to all again. Copy, paste. Right, door. So. From this zero point, we want the door to actually be open. We've got a little bit of Z fighting, but this is just a test. So we're just having that. Go to control node, go to this, and then I want opening 01. So we're just gonna have it open. Control node, close everything. Then what I want is on a fly o one. Okay, fly o one goes above, so I'm gonna delete that. Yes, and I'm gonna have up o one. So I'm gonna test this first. Right, and then that is control node. It'll be like, ooh, we're flying. Ooh, we're flying. Ooh, we're flying. A little bit more. Okay, cool. Right, and then close all the anim. Oh, wait. Before we close all the animation, then we can do copy. Paste back down. There we go. Lovely. So make all the animations for the contest or just one animation. You can do one animation. One animation's fine. There's no set amount. I'm just trying to test something right now. I'm trying to see if this, this new update has, has actually gone into effect. Which is why I'm not actually making a full hot air balloon. Right, new assets. Uh, balloon test one I guess continue categories yeah put your categories don't care about all of those save as draft but yes it does near a uh, uh, door to open hmm I just made sure it was high enough so the player can jump in but do you have animation did you say you had animation I think your eggs add up to a lot of your face count. You can create individual models that you rotate to create round oval objects. It's lower face count. You submitted it. Yeah, just remember, we always take the, the latest version. This is tiny. Single use. 
Right, so if I put it on none. Oh, I'm a friggin' dog! No, I still can't jump in. Because there's animation. AYZ, do you mind sending me? Because now I feel like it's it's not working. Uh, do you mind sending me what at uh, this? Basically, I'm going to show you. Do you mind screenshotting me like this section right here? Do you mind screenshotting me this? Okay. Can you do that? Oh, before you added the animal. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. I just made all of this. I adore you. It's now not jumping. Yeah. I wish I saw that before I went on a creating thing. Yes, as soon as you add animation, it puts a collision box over the entire thing. Still. I thought that they'd done like an update, so it didn't. But no. <laughs> oh. Yeah. No, that's normal. That's normal, guys. Well, I mentioned it. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Uh, you cannot get lower rated by the judge because the asset has too many faces, right? If your asset is above the face limit that we allow, then you don't go to judging because it's uh, like it's one of our criteria. Don't go above this. If you go above that then you don't go through. Now, in the past, maybe some people managed to sneak through because it can be quite hard to look at something and go, this is above this many faces. Uh, and vice versa as well. Maybe some people were at like 4,800 and something and they were like, this is 5,000 faces and may have not gone through, which is why I am now having it. So you screenshot this and your assets. So I need to see your asset in the screenshot and the amount of faces, which is represented in the little image in the form. That was your question. I am so sorry, AYZ. I was just like, how quick can I make this? Oh, trying to make the house not copyrighted now. <laughs> good, good, good. If you wanted to, obviously I don't want to have you know, over hundreds and hundreds of people like messaging me like, is this okay? Is this okay for every single contest? But I do not mind if potentially a couple of people that are worried about copyright stuff messages me going, hey, is there anything you think I need to change on this? So I make sure I go through to, you know, go through, uh, go through on the contest then I am not opposed to that. So yeah, trying to, uh, yeah. So AYZ, anytime, this is for everyone. Anytime, anytime an asset has any animation, then it puts a collision box over the entire animated space. Nodes are fine. Nodes are fine. I mean, that is one thing as well that you might get marked down for uh, usability within uh, within Sandbox because it might not be optimized. That's kind of the usability part. Like, is it optimized enough to work in there? If you've got an asset that can clearly be way, way, way over an optimized amount of nodes, then maybe you might get marked down a little bit. But this is why I've added additional criteria for voting. So it's a lot more like rounded in terms of what people are voting on now. So there's like, you know, you could you could make something that isn't overly optimized, but the creativity and the level of detail is amazing and you get really well voted on that. It's suggested 50, but if I have a hundred plus or something, yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't be disqualified. There is absolutely nothing. There's absolutely nothing in the guidelines saying keep it under 50 nodes. No. So you you might, I might, let, let's say I'm looking at it going, whoa, that is a lot of nodes on there. 
like a lot, but wow, the creativity, the level, the de the level of animation is great. The level of detail is also amazing. Like, so usability might be marked as like a out of five, might be marked as like a two or something, but your creativity and everything will be marked quite high. So yeah, you wouldn't be disqualified, but you may lose a few marks on that one category for that that one thing. Right, there we go. So I, I made the hot air balloon for absolutely no reason to test something that I wasn't sure whether it was out or not. So cool, cool. I'm glad, I'm glad we did that. Right, let's close that. What else? So we've got sizing guides, buildings. Doo -doo -doo. Right, unlock template. I should really get a video attached to this, guys. Clipping. Oh, be really wary of clipping. Okay, this is another thing. So right here, we can see his trousers are coming out of his t-shirt. We don't quite want that. This one, not really, not so much. His t-shirt's been moved down a little bit. Why is the rest of clipping not on here? Oh, wait, the Z fighting. Z fighting. Someone change this. Right, we're going to move off of this. By watching my streams, thank you. <laughs> right, I need to do a quick toilet break. Uh, how long have I been streaming? I've been stream. Okay, actually, no, I'm not gonna take a quick toilet break. I'm only gonna be streaming for another 10 or so minutes. My bladder can hopefully wait. Make a door open and close animation. Uh, that's not really usable at the moment. No, you can make a door open and close. I've made doors open and close. <coughs> <coughs> but, um, if you're just making a door, you can definitely make a door that opens and closes. No issue. Uh, you would need the behavior. Bear with me. 100% bear with me. You would need an open, open O1, close O1, opening O1 and closing O1. Okay. You need those. You need all four of those, I believe. And uh, you will need it to have the behavior of a door so when you export it and it comes up with everything and, it, and you scroll down you find door and you give it the behavior door okay and it should work as a door we also do have door templates that are the correct sizes these are the correct sizes we've got single and we've got double door you can 100 recolor these and style them how you want yeah, no, you can send me that on Twitter. No worries. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, it doesn't work for the basket. Maybe, wait, wait. Wait, file, export, marketplace. I don't think it's going to work the same. I'm just wondering. I'm just testing something out. Replace. Uh... Boon test, continue, behavior, door. Behavior door. Behavior's draft. Is that okay? Yeah, it looks okay. Right, edit. Yeah, I'll have a look at your balloon. No worries. Just testing out an idea right now. Oh, I can't stand on it though. It does just legit act like a door. I can walk through it, but I can't. Can't stand on it. Potentially, though, I could have it as just open. No, it still goes through it. Oh. Where's the balloon? 
Yeah. It just acts as a door. You can add assets on the floor and make sides. Yes, yes, you can, 100%. But my, so this is, this is the issue I have with that, okay? So yes, if I'm making it for my own game, I can do all those mechanics and that is great and that's fantastic. My issue is if somebody sees this balloon and they see my game and they're like, oh wow, in her game, she's able to get inside the balloon, able to fly up and do all sorts. People are gonna buy this thinking they can do that. And that's what bothers me because some people might purchase something for to be placed in their game, maybe for certain things that don't know how to fully utilize everything to make it work. And that is what bothers me the most. I feel like most assets, you should be able to be like, that works the way it should work. Yeah, yeah, I can put, no, I know I can do that. I know I can 100% do that. I was just seeing, personally, I, I could do that without turning the behavior of this into a door. I was just testing if it would work as a door um, and I would still be able to stand on this base. But no, it does, it does not. That, that was my, that was my, that was the test I was doing. I know I can put in invisible things and do, do everything that I need to do. Um, but yeah, uh, it's like the asset of the person going, if you've seen it, somebody's got a really cool train asset, looks fantastic, but they've shown it off by having it so they can walk inside and stand inside, like the door of the train opens and they walk in and they stand inside and it's like that's great but somebody purchasing that you will not be able to stay stand inside of that train like you you won't be able to at least not at the current moment hopefully hopefully we won't have these issues later on that uh animation makes it so it puts a collision box over the entire thing hopefully that will change in the future but as of right now that's not the case that, that's my only concern. I like to try and make assets that are usable in their current state and you would need minimal knowledge on adding them to a game. Right, who wants me to look at what? Oh, AYZ. Oh, your thingy balloon. Okay. I did see this. I think I like, I didn't like it. Why did I not like it? I thought I liked it. Right. So. I've, I do like it. It is. I don't feel like you infringe upon Alex's IP with this. Firstly, I think that's fine. You gotta remember like Wizzy is his thing. Looks like a standard wizard. So I see no, nothing wrong with this. Uh, there are, I wish I had a bigger thing. Is that, oh, it's a dragon. Okay, so for longest, I think this is too detailed. I think the dragon is too detailed that for the longest time, I thought that was just a green blob, like a t-shirt. I thought you tried to give him like a huge head and then you're trying to do like the fire thing to be like a, like a t-shirt. So I feel, I feel like the, that needs to be different. What's the time where I live? It's 11 o'clock. 11. But generally, I like this. Definitely under faces as well. I uh, didn't even think I had to take a toilet break until you mentioned wanting to take a break. This is super random and may sound super weird, but it's like yawning is contagious. <laughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry. Bear with me. Bear, bear with me. 12, 12, eight. Do you mean 12 p.m.? You mean 12 p.m. in Spain? It's definitely not 12 a.m. in Spain. You are not, you are not 11 hours behind. You're an hour ahead. It's 12 p.m. Yeah, in the afternoon, it goes to p.m. You're so cute. Uh, for Lee, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, <B> <coughs> 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 It's all good. It's 
sometimes I have to take a little think like, which one? A M? No, P M. It's P M. Don't worry about it. Do not worry about it at all. But no, I'd. The basket, right, the basket, really, really good level of detail over here, and I really like that, and it all looks like, I can't get a good enough view, actually, wait, there we go, beautiful, yes I can, okay, they are just drawn on, right, I was like, I'm sure they're just drawn on, that looks great, I really like that, I'm not too sure how I feel about the colour change of this, the dragon close up looks pretty good. Now, when I'm close up, but from far away, uh, it's hard to tell that it's a dragon, just personally. And I do like the flame coming out of its mouth. I would potentially, I get that you've done like the really, really dark black to make it look like it's fading in. I would potentially have done that lighter than that color, just because it seems to be a very, very big black around the green and it makes it really obvious no they do pop out okay oh yeah i can see it here sorry yes uh yeah i see nothing wrong with that then popping out you've not it doesn't seem like you've got that many faces how many faces are you on i love that the hat wobbles a little wobble of the hat and this, I can tell, has animation. There's been some where, obviously, in the past, assets have just spun on a turntable, and it's like, where's your animation? How am I meant to? How am I meant to mark you on animation? And they may have animation, but it gets marked lower. Hey, Mister Mark, 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 Mark. Is that your name, Mister Mark, Mark? Hey, oh, I've got a raid. Oh no, I feel bad. You do realize I'm finishing in like five minutes. Oh no. Love the design. I like the design. And like I said, it looks like a standard wizard and I don't feel like you would, you would be imposing on Alex's IP. Just remember his IP is, is Wizzy. Like wizards are his, they, they belong to him. They are his IP. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I would have just done the black around the dragon, a, a, a lighter black. I get why you've done it that dark, but I would have done it a lighter black. Um, I'm really not too sure why you've done the colours of the bars, like, different. Why you've gone from, like, blue to then gray and then from the image you sent me you've gone back to blue so i'm not too is it meant to be ropes are they meant to be ropes it just looks like it's blue to like a metal and then back to blue metal made sure it was it wasn't a whizzy i was thinking dragons and wizards yeah yeah ropes uh brown would have like a lighter brown would have been better because it does, it does, like, I, I get what you're doing because I can sort of see it being tied round. But it also does kind of just look like it's metal. But that's all I've got to say on that. I still I still like it, but I think uh, you doing it a lighter colour and maybe less... I've, I feel like you could have made maybe it look a little bit more rope-like. It's iron and the middle is dark iron because of the fire. Okay, you said ropes. Who said ropes? Yeah, ropes. No, these, these bits. So this is iron. Or are you on about the top part? Like these bits, I just, I wasn't too keen on that. That's brown? That's not brown. That's gray. That is 100% gray. That's not, I'm looking closer on this now, on the, yeah, that's, yeah, that's gray. 
That is not brown. That is not brown. That's gray. Like, this is brown. All of this is like brown, light brown, a bit beige. You sent you sent me a DM though. I I can you sent me some. Uh, I got a head object that rotates, and when I make the full rotation to loop it, it always has a little step. When I export the GLTF. I made it as a floating and rotating, but it claps and doesn't loop smooth. Any advice? If you want something to smoothly... If you want something to smoothly rotate, then you need to do the start and end animation the same. So, like this. A little janky. Let's take that bit out. Wait. Oh, so if it goes down, so the start and end are the same. Actual color gray. Oh, you can't see my mouse. Of course you can't see my mouse. I'm just like, yeah, this bit. So the, the gray bit where you've got your blue metal and then you've got the gray bit. And then it goes right at the top to the blue bit. But yeah, that's that's my advice on smooth looping is go copy. Like literally right click, copy, and then go to the end of your animation and have the end be the, that. I copied the first keyframe at the end, but it stops and then starts again. The loop area is is just in the last keyframe too. Well, without seeing it, I can't properly... I, I don't see why it wouldn't loop, unless the only way it would look weird, potentially, is if you've done this. No, that still doesn't look weird. Yeah, I'm not too sure what you've done to make it... to make it not work properly. Because it's metal for me, and then brown, and then metal again. So it's like, it's blue, and then it's gray, and then it's blue. One second. So blue, and then this is gray. Gray. That's gray. This is blue. And this is blue. Yeah. That's brown to you? Have you been tested for color blindness? Hey, is it? That's I I can't I can't be the only crazy one. Right. Let, let's put it up to to the to the people. What color? Is this it's gray i'm not I'm not going crazy. this is gray, correct dark yeah, dark gray. Okay, Geo, send it to me on Discord or Twitter. I mean, there's this one. This bit right there, this bit, and this bit could be, I assume, from this color. Whoops. 
I assume that's from the, I in fact I'm assuming you've used these. These are the colors that I think you were using. Although no, cuz that looks more gray actually. I don't know which ones you were using. But I assume you've you these are the little dots of brown. Yeah. This one has got to be the little dot of brown that I can see. Everything else is gray 100 i'm not going crazy you use the palette yes there's the ones i used okay so this you could get away maybe brown but this is not brown that's not brown that's gray this is like a light beige this is like a, a very light beige so these these here are browns, these are browns, these are browns. You get away with some of these being kind of browns as well. Yeah, they're browns. You definitely use these as browns over here. Um, that's very, very dark. But this, these are not browns. No, no, no. This, if you've used these ones right here, if you've used these, it's like I'm not going crazy. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It just it gives it character. Just maybe, you know. Maybe double check. I thought they fall under brown because they were next to each other. No, they just they're not. Unfortunately. Sorry. They're not brown. Although it's interesting that you think that they're brown. First time we're here. That's absolutely no. We're we're not here to judge or anything like that. Uh, also, oh wait, is that not added on here? Okay, I need to update that. Oh, here we go. Don't know why that's there. No, nope, that's still the wrong one. Am I right? Oh, here we go. Right here. Right. Right here. I'm going to link this. I found it. Sorry. Aina, whatever you sent me, there's nothing that was sent, just your message. You didn't actually send me anything. So it's rust. The colors you used were rust, like used for rusting. It's a rust color, yeah. Your rope is rust. That's why I was really confused. Like, why is it, it would have made sense maybe if all of that top bit was these colors, but it's cool, it's cool. But this is like dirt, brunette, brown stones sort of color, natural tones. This is okay. Oh, there we go. I'm hyena. That's cool. Hyena, I like yours. That's very cool. Okay, expect a resubmit. <laughs> okay. <coughs> no problem but did did the other person geo did did you send me anything i haven't got any i haven't got any message requests or out of it and i'm gonna be finishing in a second there you go so you've got i did link this so you've got this to use to help you guys and what time is it? Because I need to be wary of the time. Okay, right, I'm going to be finishing in three minutes. Apparently I've gone over. And like I said, I do need the toilet. And I've now had to hold my bladder longer than I had planned. Be bookmarked for short, sure, definitely. And there will be updates and all of that fun stuff happening. So, Geo, did you want to tag me? You get like two minutes. Get two minutes, my friend, and then I have to skedaddle out of here. But all we really did today was talk a lot about uh, the Sandbox Gitbook, really. So the Sandbox, the Vox Edit Gitbook, 
as well as a few other bits and pieces brownstone section for ropes you could use the brownstone section for ropes i i use those ones for a lot of stuff a lot there and the natural the naturals area as well would be good to use all right we're gonna finish i will be back on this evening so this evening i will be back for general uh general nurse that's the word i'm going for i will be back for for general stream nurse general content on fox edit and game maker wow can someone make my brain work properly i have lots and lots of work i actually have to go get on with right now and yeah so hopefully i'll see you later tonight i i usually start 6 p.m utc on uh this evening it will be earlier than that and i don't know what start time it will actually be but it's just whenever i manage to get dinner made and eaten and then i will be straight on to do all of this so i will be back on this evening if you want to join me then i'm guessing potentially around the 5 p.m utc ish mark so you know keep an eye out i do post on twitter as well as uh the the sandbox discord to so make sure to tune in for that as always have a good morning afternoon no that's the wrong thing hey guys i'm invisible my bad uh yeah give me a second to sort this out because apparently i don't know how to do this right there we go all right have a good morning afternoon evening wherever you are in the metaverse and hopefully i will see you guys later Goodbye.